What's going on YouTube? My name is FG3000. I'm back in the place to be and welcome back to Honkai Impact 3rd. It has been quite a long time since we last visited this title. Now before we jump back into gameplay, this video is also sponsored by Honkai Impact 3rd and the development team that goes by the name of MiHoYo. That is a pronunciation I'm sticking with my final answer. Now you guys know what I always say when I do a sponsored video. I don't want to be the only person sponsored. You don't say that all the time, FG. I try to. I really do. I'm a real hard negotiator or two. Normally what I say, I go, hey, I need a coupon code for everybody that's going to watch this video. And normally they say yes or no. This time they said yes, so they don't have to find out what happens when they say no. So shout out to Honkai Impact 3rd. All you have to do, go down into the pinned comment below this video. The coupon code will be waiting for you there with some instructions on how to redeem it. And that will add some crystals to your account, courtesy of the development team and Honkai Impact 3rd. So there you go. Let's go ahead and jump into gameplay. And the whole purpose of this video is the newest addition to the Honkai Kai Impact 3rd roster, and here she is. Let's go ahead and get a little closer look at her here. Here's her weapon type right over here, as you guys can see. Now, if you guys have not played Honkai Impact 3rd, um, all of your weapon models do show up on your character, so I do like when I can actually see a little bit of visual progression as I get stronger and stronger in the game. Now, don't let her little cute demeanor fool you. Like, when she's actually in combat, she changes into something entirely. Spoiler. Um, now, before we actually jump into combat and show off the new character, one thing I want to kind of say, and I know this is a sponsored video, so hopefully they don't take it the wrong way. However, the main reason why I stopped playing this game when the game globally launched was the fact that there was like barely any characters to choose from. I think when I played the game, there was Kiana, Mei, and then uh, Himiko over here. That, those are like the only characters in the game. As you can see now, there are a ton more. And yes, this is gonna be one of those games where it's kind of like the same character, but all of the characters have different action sets. So just because you're playing Branya here and Branya here and Branya there, they actually play totally different once you're actually into combat. And hopefully I'll be able to show off a little bit of that once we jump over there. Um, but yeah, there are a lot of characters in this game. They all have tons of different weapons, um, uh, suits and costumes. So yeah, they, they definitely solved that issue there. So these characters I don't have unlocked yet. She's cute, I like her. I, why don't I have this character? That's messed up. All right, so let's go back over here to the main screen and we will jump into some combat here. Uh, let's actually go to, um, challenge mode is exactly what I wanna do. Let's go to this outdoor stage first to get us ourselves a little bit of variety. Um, I need to have a Kiana or a, let's just grab yeah, we'll just grab that Kiana for now and jump on over into combat, ladies and gentlemen. Yip, yip, yip. And here we are. So Honkai Impact 3rd is one of those games that, that has been touted as like one of the best looking mobile games. And it still is, even though this game has been out for quite a while. There's not really a lot of mobile games that look this good. Um, I know a lot of people that don't normally play mobile games covered this game and they were like, wow, this, I can't believe mobile can look this good. And that was a while ago and it still holds up. Absolutely. Um, this is just the basic attack right here that I'm kind of showing you. As you guys can see, they can go combo crazy here. Uh, one thing I really do like about Honkai Impact is the fact that I can just I can just dodge all day long. I hate when games have like annoying cooldowns on dodges. I, I just want to be able to dodge. Oh, and there's another thing here. So if I dodge right before the enemy attacks, I can kind of go in this blitz time mode and do even more damage from the safety of my speed and their slowness. So there you go. About to drop some little annoying landmines here. And I have the graphics all on max, AA, HDR, 60 frames per second, everything is turned up all the way. Now I would recommend playing this game on your phone, that way you can control the camera a little bit easier. Um, I'm playing this game on emulator, as you guys can see. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and transform into my second form here. And as you guys ah, come on, I killed too fast, but you get a real good slow-mo of her different look here. Black and red outfit, claws with tentacles all over the place. Don't be trying to think. Don't say out loud what you're thinking, all right? Keep it PG. <laughs> it's a sponsored, man. It's a sponsored video. <laughs> um, but yeah, very, very awesome. Let's do a couple more stages here. So that way, that way I can show a few different biomes um, as well as some of the other characters here as well. Um, let's, uh, yeah, we'll just jump over to this cave. Um, now I need to have a Branya. I didn't even get a chance to use the Kiana. Didn't even get a chance to use the Kiana. Um... I'll just take a, is that going to be enough power? Yeah, we're good. We are good. And actually probably be a little bit better for me to bring someone slightly weaker. That way I'm just not one shot and stuff, but that's all right. 
And at any time, if I choose to, I can switch between my characters. Uh, and, th and that's going to be very beneficial at times, because when you're fighting some of the mobs or bosses, um, you're going to be weak towards some of them and strong towards others. Um, so that's something that you definitely want to be on the lookout for. So here is Branya. And as you guys can see, my dash has now been replaced. Look at that. With a block. I like dashers better, though. Yep. <laughs> Especially for a stage like this. Yep. Landmines. Let's go ahead and switch to this May over here. Give you guys a little bit of variety of different attacks here. She uses like a little behind the back dagger move here. In true shinobi form. All these like landmines all over the place. <laughs> like literally. And as you can see right here, I, that was actually a weak character to use against that uh, mid boss. Um, so we're gonna go back over here to the highlight of the video. And we're going to go ahead and change forms here in a second. Yep. There's one more, there's one more like mob waiting for me. Oh, he just attacked us there. You guys are really trying to kill me. <laughs> yep. All right. Let's kind of get them grouped up just a slight bit more. And we'll go claw version and i also have another thing i can do after this so let me try to build up a little bit more and i'll show you what else we can do in this form easy escape and let's do at least one actually you know what instead of just doing the stages and the challenge modes because we've got a good idea of what the combat looks like um so let's do let's go back over here to the menu screen and we'll show you something completely different. So that's kind of like stage. Uh, that's kind of like stage to stage gameplay. Um, but there are a lot more to choose from here. So we also have an open world as well. Um, so let's go back and resume the map that I was just on um, with these characters here, and give you a, another little taste of what else you can do in this game. Because since the last time I played it, um, in addition to all the characters, they added an open world mode. There are tons of different co-op. Um, adventures that you can go on. I mean, there is just a lot of stuff going on inside this game. Um, but look at this. Look how massive this is. <laughs> Let's make our way over here. And let's uh, get it on. I got it. Yeah. yeah. Don't worry. Don't, uh, don't worry. I'm a pro. <laughs> now we'll actually be able to show off the additional attack here and finish this video off in style ladies and gentlemen oh really it's only because i'm using keyboard and a mouse on here if i was just using straight keyboard pfft, wouldn't even know kind of clear out all these ads here almost there who's over here shooting lasers at me freaking turrets <laughs> Tentacles and claws, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> what what else could you want? Literally, what else could you want in a game like this? Besides tentacles and claws. And here it is. Easy one shot. <laughs> and there you go. So that will pretty much do it for this video, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and save and exit. I can come back to this at any time I feel like it. Um, we'll kind of do a quick preview of everything else here. Yeah, whoops. Do a quick preview of everything else here, and then we'll go ahead and end the video. Once again, a shout out to the development team for sponsoring this video. Um, as you guys can see, you have the open world, you have story mode here, there's co-op raids, um, you have like these chronicles, which is what I was showing you a little bit earlier with the camp, uh, in the first bits of gameplay. Um, you have the challenge modes here. It's I mean, there's just so, all of these things were not here when I first played the game, and I accidentally clicked on it. <laughs> I didn't mean to. You know what? Fine. <laughs> I didn't mean to click on it, but you know what? It has been clicked. Bum, bum, bum. Whoops. I wanted I wanted Kiana because she didn't get her chance to shine earlier. But yeah, there is a lot of gameplay modes here. So in my my opinion or my advice here, if you do download Honkai Impact Third, just kind of take it easy. Um, it's gonna be kind of overwhelming at first because of all of the content that's been added to the game. Um, but the tutorial is pretty good, so it'll kind of guide you through it. This is a, a down, as you guys can see. So we'll go ahead and switch back out. But it'll guide you through little by little, and you'll kind of get acclimated to all the things that you can do inside the game. How dare you make me accidentally click this. 
<laughs> yep, yep, yep. I just want to just kind of just show off here. <laughs> Whoops. And we'll switch back. Oh, I switched the wrong one. I want to make sure that we, we see the star of the show. Because I feel like I'll be yelled at if I'm like... <laughs> They're like, hey, we sponsored you. We sponsored you to show off one character, and all you did was just switch around. <laughs> Let me get out of this little void vortex over here. Should be able to finish this off here shortly. Once again, it's time. Ah, oh, really? You're gonna interrupt me when I'm trying to show off? Tentacles to the face, ladies and gentlemen. And the void has been pushed back. G to the G. Once again, my name is FG3000. That was a look back at Honkai Impact 3rd and the newest character to be added to the game. Just a little bit of gameplay. Um, stay tuned. We will be doing a follow-up video to Honkai Impact 3rd in more of my daily grind review style um, to kind of give you guys a better idea what you're going to be doing on a day-to-day -day basis when you play Honkai Impact 3rd. So until then, once again, my name is FG3000. I thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to use the coupon code down below in the pinned comment, and I will see you guys in the next video. Later.